Manchester United 4-1 winners in Cristiano Ronaldo's second debut at Old Trafford. Joining us from Old Trafford, Mark Ogden. Mark, uh, just tell us what the moments were like today. So many of them, such great uh, buzz in the stadium. We're watching on TV and you could really sense it coming through. Yeah, I mean, obviously, when he came out at the start of the game, the atmosphere was incredible. The, the fans were singing his name. It was, you know, it was one of the loudest atmospheres I've, I've experienced at Old Trafford. It was so noisy. And from that moment on, it was all about Ronaldo. Every time he got the ball, there was excitement, there was a buzz. But, you know, until he scored the first goal just before half time, it felt like United were trying too hard to find Ronaldo, trying too hard to make sure every pass went to him. And I think when he scored the goal, this, the sense of relief, the explosion of relief was, was incredible. But it was a uh, it, was, it wasn't really a classic Ronaldo goal. It was a bit of a, a scruffy goal, a, you know, a fumble by the goalkeeper. And he was there three yards out, but great goal all the same to get, get his second spell underway. Yeah, and one of the things that people said he would bring to this team is that confidence. They give up the equaliser in the 56 minutes. Six minutes later, he hits back. Is that the prime example of it? Absolutely. And that's, that second goal was an amazing goal. It was, you know, Luke Shaw's run in the first place with a fantastic run. But the way he put Ronaldo through, I mean, let's remember Ronaldo is 36, he's 37 in February. So he should be slowing up. He should be kind of, you know, changing his game. He just burst away from the Newcastle defender. It's a clinical finish of a world-class striker, which is what Ronaldo's all about. But like I say, he's 36. He shouldn't be doing that at 36. And that is what United missed last season. They've got so many points at home last season against teams like Newcastle, sat deep. You know, he couldn't break them down. All of a sudden, they've got a guy in the team who will always score goals against those teams. So, that could be the difference in United would maybe win the Premier League title again and not. Uh, take us back to the be fit, you know, really before the game, maybe an hour before the game when the lineup sheet comes out. I, I'm watching ESPN FC all week. The kind of consensus was that he would come in off the bench, especially after the international break. Were you surprised to see him in the starting lineup? No, I wasn't. I, I, I was surprised that people were expecting to be on the bench because I, I was in Portugal 10 days ago when he scored two goals against the Republic of Ireland to break the international scoring record. And it looked sharp, he was scoring goals. and. He came to Manchester on the Friday because he was suspended for the second game. So he had four days full training. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo, when he's fit, does not start on the bench. And he had four days full training. He was hungry to score. I, I would have been amazed if he started on the bench. And, you know, when he was named the starting team, I thought, well, that had to be the case because you don't sign Cristiano Ronaldo and put him on the bench, especially with all due respect against a team like Newcastle, who a team that will just sit back and defend. You need a guy like Ronaldo. You know, this is the perfect debut for Ronaldo, a team that would give chances away. So, no, I wasn't surprised. And, you know, I'd have been surprised the other way if they hadn't been started. It's all good today. 4-1, a thrashing of Newcastle. Is it too soon? Is it exaggerated to say that Cristiano Ronaldo's arrival has made Manchester United true Premier League contenders? No, I think that is the difference he's made. I think we are true title contenders now, especially with Man City not having signed a striker, you know. If Man City had signed Ronaldo, I think they would have pulled away and, and they, they would have been over the horizon. But the fact that United have got a striker now in Ronaldo, these games that they were dropping points last season, the you know, Crystal Palace at home and teams like that, they're the games that Ronaldo will have to win. So it could make, you know, 12, 15 points difference to United. If that's the case, it would be very tough to win the league again. We hear some of the uh, the fans still there in attendance at, at Old Trafford. Take us... Take us to the moment when Ronaldo hits the second. What was the volume in the stadium like then? Well, I mean, it just it was off the scale because I think it was such a, I think it was a surprise, but it, it was such a, a slick movement that there was no anticipation in the build up. It was just a, a move and then the score, you know, the, the goal went in and it was like the roof lifted off the stadium. It was just, it was what everyone had come to see. Now, obviously, the first goal was what we came to see, but this was like, this was true Ronaldo. It was pace, it was power, it was ruthless finishing. And it was just this, this sense of, wow, you know, that he scored this amazing goal. Again, to confirm that people have said he's too old, he's too slow, he, he's won too many things, he's come for a payday. That goal showed that Ronaldo's still hungry, he's still got the pace, the desire to score fantastic goals and win games. So that was the reality that Ronaldo is still a world beater. Mark, I know you've seen countless special nights, special days at Old Trafford. Uh, where does this one stack up? This one, this one will be remembered, you know, down the years. I, I remember being here when Eric Cantona came in came back after his nine-month ban, and that was a, a memorable game. And, you know, 25, 26 years old, people still talk about that. You still see the image of Cantona climbing the, the pole behind the goal after scoring a goal. For me, this is the same. You know, people are here today will say, we'll tell the grandchildren I was there, but Ronaldo came back, scored two goals. So this is another, another great moment in Man United history, the, the day that, you know, one of their favourite sons came back and, and turned back the clock. Mark Ogden, thanks for the time. Joining us from Old Trafford, where Manchester United wins 4-1 in Cristiano Ronaldo's second debut. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.